Well, I'll be the first to admit it's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Knowing someone like that comes around only once every three lifetimes, maybe. These are the accounts of a strange individual, someone who took the world by storm. This is Ryan Fors, a young man who woke one day believing himself to be the reincarnation of still alive rock singer Meat Loaf. Many events like psychiatric tests, hypnotherapy and operations have passed since our first look at him, but yet he still firmly believes that he is Loaf. You know, it has been uh, pretty crazy uh, ever since our last endeavor. I've uh, gotten so much attention, you know. I uh, I never really expected to be this popular, especially, you know, in the beginning when uh, me and Jim Steinman, we were uh, working on Bad Out of Hell and we got turned down by like every record label that uh, we'd see. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's crazy. So you're talking about Meat Love's career or the attention you've got from claiming him? You know, I've been thinking a lot about this since our last discussion, Nick, and, uh, well, you know, it kind of bugs me that, uh, you're constantly doubting what the doctors obviously say, like, you know, is true, that I am the real meatloaf, the spirit of the loaf is still within me, and, you know, I, I just don't really see, you know, the room for doubt, and, uh, I'm just gonna pretend that, uh, you, you didn't ask, you didn't ask that, because, we're in the middle of a, an era of fear, and uh, you know, thanks to this pandemic uh, from the Heineken virus, so you know, I'll just let that slide. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that leads me to my next question. How have you been during the pandemic? Well, you know, I've actually been pretty good during the pandemic. It's uh, it's been an enlightening experience for a lot of reasons. But um, recently, I, I've actually uh, been given a new flatmate. Uh, yeah. Uh, a musician named uh, Terry. I said I'm sorry. I don't care what you want it. It was my cheesecake. It was just the cheesecake. <laughs> Brian? Yeah? If you see Sarah, don't let her in. Okay. I think it was a long time coming, really. You know, I actually met him for his uh, change. Um, he was always a little odd, um, but damn good at singing in the showers. So it was only natural that he'd lose his individuality and become more famous than he could ever be. So you're not convinced he's the real meatloaf. Well, who is the real meatloaf? I guess to him, it's all a matter of perspective. Oh, yeah. Me. Sorry, uh, me. Yeah? When is this gonna end? When's what gonna end? The whole meatloaf thing. Well, it's not gonna end because I am meatloaf. Well, that's not your real name, though, is it? Well, yes, it is my real name. I am the real meatloaf. Meatloaf has always been my name. Before you started calling yourself Meatloaf, what was your name? It's always been Meatloaf. See, you don't even know it! You fuck! So, what are your plans going forward musically? Well, I'm, uh, I'm looking into doing uh, one of the, the biggest projects I've ever done yet, I, I think. So, uh, you know, working with the best songwriter that I've ever known. Jim Steinman? Well, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking into covering the entirety of Bad For Good. Are you sure that's viable? After being sued by Columbia Records, I'm not sure there's a chance to do a project so big. Well, being sued by one of the major record labels and uh, also beaten almost to a pulp by a crazy lady who uh, thought herself to be the reincarnation of Bonnie Tyler was uh, an educational experience. Uh, but viable still. Don't you think that's a bit ironic? Ironic? Well, did you ever hear of the cultist Steve Henry again? 
I did, yes. Uh, firstly, never trust a guy with two first names. Secondly, he got a very long prison sentence, almost lifetime, and uh, I received a voicemail from him the other day. Um, we can have a listen right now. All right, uh, here we go. Hello, Ryan, it's me, Steve. I know you're not supposed to have phones in prison, but you know. I just thought you could do with some really good news. So I just wanted to say that I may have been sentenced for uh, 30 years, but I think I'm going to get lucky. I'll be having quite well, and I think the showers are not as bad as you really think they are. Uh, not after I accidentally pushed the ganglion downstairs. Anyway, so I just wanted to say that if they won't let me out soon, I'll probably just escape and, you know, meet up. Oh, yeah, the pubs are reopening now. And I, and I know my Dark Lord really wants to meet you properly this time. Call me back when you can, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Does uh, this production cover bodyguards? So even though you admit there are differences between you, you and Ryan still making music together? Yes, we are. What instrument do you play? Guitar, mainly. We're working on getting other people to join the band. So what actually made you want to help Ryan? Well, it's a mixture of things. He always wanted to make music, even before his change. So now's the perfect time, really. But you are familiar with Meatloaf's music? Yeah, of course. I know all the hits. Did you know that Bat Out of Hell was about a motorcycle crash? It seems that Ryan was doing good with his time in lockdown making sure to write new songs as well as practice the old ones. Are you... are you okay? I just had a terrible nightmare that I thought that I was the reincarnation of the, the singer Meatloaf. Wait, wait, are you, are you, are you trying to say that... <laughs> <laughs>